All right, it's time for our first play of the week nominee coming to us courtesy of Bondurant. Check out this one handed catch there. I, we don't have the name just yet. Our roster site crashed on us, but we will get that later in the show. That one handed catch and then the lengthy run for the game there. Incredible play. And that is our first nominee for play of the week. Well, the 2022 season is a new era for the Hoover football program and first year head coach Theo Evans is leading the charge at his old stomping grounds. He graduated from Hoover a little over a decade ago and now he's back to help build the program into what he believes it has the potential to be. Being out on this field almost wasn't possible for the Hoover football team this fall. They were on the brink of not having a season due to lack of players. But then and this job opened up um, and obviously it was kind of big news and, and they're going to not play and this and that. Um, so I knew I had to come in and, and take this job and not really let anybody else have a chance to get this job. I knew this was the time um, if, we, if I was going to do it, it had to be this season. Theo Evans finally got the job he had been wanting for years. In his first year at the helm of the program, he has high expectations for what he wants it to become. We definitely see a future where um, if we continue doing what we're doing, that we're going to be up there at some of the top 4A schools in this state. And then eventually we want to get back to playing 5A football. He knows they have a long way to go, but he says the fact that the players have bought into the process is a great start and the first step to becoming the new Hoover. Well, really what New Hoover is, is doing things the right way and doing what it takes to be to be special in the classroom and the community on the football field. So that includes being in class on time all the time, learning, so putting your phone away, headphones away. That means going in the weight room at least twice or three times a week during the school, uh, during, during football season and then getting in the weight room in the off season. That means running track, playing multiple sports. Um, that means being a great community member in, in your community and being home at a responsible time and doing responsible things in the community. Um, so we kind of preach all that stuff that that is what new Hoover is and that's what new Hoover will be for the next however until I get fired or until I die. All right Hoover taking on Des Moines Christian tonight and both teams started this game off strong keeping each other out of the end zone but then Des Moines Christian got on a roll quarterback Tate Platt threw a rocket to senior wide receiver Carson Deese for the touchdown. Then take a look at this Owen Fadden number 18 for the Lions going to snag the ball here and bring in some points for the Lions. But just a few plays later the duo is back better than ever going to go for another long pass scoring another TD. And we get a final score up here. Looks like Des Moines Christian wins this one big over Hoover. Looks like I can't read the screen from here. 49 to 7. Williamsburg made the trip to Van Meter tonight in a matchup we rarely get to see. But both programs have a history of winning. Dave Bingham has more. Ultimately, it's about these guys on this team that you have played with since you were five. Now let's get it done. This is our house. Let's go. Here we go. Go. One, two, three. Go. Don't forget, we are Van Meter. Okay? You never quit. Don't ever quit. 48 minutes. Go, go, three. One, two, three. Go. Let's make sure you guys have lived a long time for this moment. It's us first. Four quarters here. All right, let's go. Raiders on three. One, two, three. Raiders! Jog it over. Let's go. Well, I mean, I think you look at our kids and know what it means. Um, you know, our kids realize how much time and effort it takes, and and uh, sometimes I know they think football goes year round, and and uh, it's just awesome feeling to have a great group to work with like this. A warm one here tonight, Brad Edwards. What are you doing bringing all this heat? But we had a great matchup. Williamsburg in the dome last year in 2A. Big win last week against Iowa City Regina. They shut them out, hosting Van Meter. Your defending state champs in 1A, winners of 60 straight regular season games. There's Eric Trudeau and the Van Meter Dogs taking the field, trying to keep that streak alive. And of course, Williamsburg, a very tough opponent. And you know Kurt Ritchie's team would be ready to go, but off the start, it's the dog defense. That's, that's Jacob Braun with the interception on the second play from scrimmage, and Van Meter looking good. From there, the offense does cash in. Ben Gillian trucks 
The defender finds the end zone 6-0. Dogs early, extra point no good. Now it's time for the Raiders defense to come up. Gillian's pass is tipped and picked. It's Iowa recruit Derek Weisskopf with the pick. Somebody's an athlete. Both teams still back and forth. Finally, the Raiders cash in though. Carson Hudipole up top to Maddox Dorman for the touchdown. We're tied at six here in the first quarter. Just more turnovers, more issues. Another bad snap for the dogs. Really couldn't get anything going on offense. They kept losing the ball. But then on fourth down, Raiders going for it. And the dogs get a big defensive play from Mason Drake to stop that drive. Later though, next play, more issues, another bad snap, and that's Rice Heitman on the fumble. Raiders cash in, 12-6, they're on top. Late in the second quarter, two seconds left to go in the second quarter, and they're going for it here. They're denied, the dogs defense holds. A crazy game here, 12-6 at the break. Second half, not much going on, and Van Meter does finally put it together. Ben Gillian finds the end zone, ties this game, and then the all-important extra point. It took a while, but Katie Lindsay knocks it through. Things look good, and actually, the Van Meter defense gets a stop, but then turn the ball over inside their own five, and guess what? The Raiders find the end zone. Carson Hudipal takes it in. And that does it, 18 to 13, the Raiders get the win. What a wild game. We can't wait to show you all the extended version highlights on our social media later, but that's all we got for you tonight. Williamsburg comes over and gets a big victory against Van Meter and breaks their streak. And as Coach uh, Eric Trudeau will tell you, the streak, not that big of a deal. You just got to reload, and their dreams of winning a state championship and doing all the things they want to do are still there. That's a wild night. Send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, well, real quick before we go to break, a couple of corrections. Um, that was Tyson Barkema in that uh, Play of the Week nominee, so wanted to get his name in there. And then on the score from Dwayne Christian and Hoover, Dwayne Christian won 48-7. to 7. Now